Hello guys and welcome to my first Fallout 4 mod spotlight video. In this video we're going to be checking out classic holstered weapon system, also called CHW. And uh, what this mod will do is, it will uh, make all the weapons you holster, actually holster on your character's body, slash also NPC's bodies, as an example. If you take a look at these NPCs here, oh I don't mind what happened here by the way, um, I might have killed a guy. Anyway. Um, if you take a look at their hips, you can see the people with pistols uh, have pipe weapons, as well as uh, as people with melee weapons have like weapons on their back, depending on like what kind of weapon it is, it goes on the back or the hip. And every single character in the game has this, and it is also supposed to work with all weapons in the game. Uh, every single one should have this ability. Now, there is one problem uh, with having this system in the game. The mod author himself states on his page that um, there's a lot of clipping going on. And you might notice that if you take a look at the actual gun here, you'll see that it's not actually attached to his body. Now, uh, the vanilla Fallout 4 game does not have any holstering going on. Uh, I'll probably show a comparison right here. But yeah, it doesn't have any holstering going on and uh, you, you can't really uh, holster any weapon and actually see it on any person. But with this mod, uh, you can actually go ahead and whenever you're about to fight an enemy, you can use a scope or a sniper or something to actually see what kind of weapon they have on them when they haven't discovered you. And you can see what weapon they have on the hip or possibly on the back. This is a mod I always end up using and I permanently have in my load order because it just adds so much immersion to the game. And uh, it adds the, the the system that Bethesda themselves removed for some reason. I mean, the older games had a lot of clipping too. So the whole negative clipping thing is not really a big deal for me. Um, and if you really want to, you can actually adjust the positioning of each weapon when you have it holstered by using the numpad. I'm not going to mess with it because I don't know if it's permanent or not. Uh, but you can mess with it as much as you want in case the gun doesn't actually stay on your back or, or, or on your hip or for that matter, like in a way you want. Um, there is a certain thing that you need to know too about this weapon mod uh, or rather this holstering mod. Um, it should work with all modded weapons, uh, but there might be exceptions where uh, certain modded weapons might have the issue where they, they simply won't appear on your body at all. Some might appear in very weird places. Uh, and heavy weapons themselves, and not not just modded, but like in general, uh, they don't want to show on the the character's body because they're going to be clipping like crazy. And uh, by default, they're turned off. But if you really want to see heavy weapons on your character, you can turn it on. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all this this has to offer. I will show a good neighbor as well, so you guys can get another look at another town, uh, and uh, then we will see. It should be up here somewhere, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Right right here. There we go. Uh, and then we'll see exactly uh, if there's some mod you want or not. Um, again, this is a mod I always set to my uh, my list of stuff. No, I'm I'm staying here. Alright, so you see these guys have, have stuff in their hands. But then if you take a look at the NPCs here, again, uh, they have stuff on their hips. And again, you can determine who to pick a fight with and who not to pick a fight with, depending yes. on the weapon, on the hip and stuff. Head over to the third rail. Uh, since this is a new save, there's a lot of different stuff going on. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much all I have to show for this mod. Um, again, would definitely recommend this mod to anyone who... Um, yes, yes, I'm good. Don't worry about a Hancock. What weapon do you have? You have a switchblade, I see. Now here we have an example, by the way, just just before I end the video, of a uh, clipping going on with the switchblade. But again, if you outweigh, if, if you weigh the positives versus the negatives with it, this mod, I, I personally think that the positives outweigh the negatives by a mile, especially later on in the game where you kind of have to determine what enemy to take out before other enemies. And especially with modded weapons, where you might know a very powerful modded weapon because it's unbalanced, uh, but you still want to use it, and an enemy has this gun, and they just kind of shoot you by one-shotting you or something like that. You, you never know if that might happen or not. So uh, based on that, this mod is great for all of those times when you just kind of want to use tactics, but also if you want immersion. Um, but besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the first video here in my Fallout 4 Spotlight series. 
I am gonna make a bunch more videos. They're not gonna be super long. I'm trying to make them short on purpose so it's easy for people to kind of get this stuff. Um, but the mod link to the actual mod is gonna be in the description below. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can click on it, read a little bit more about it, and look at the images to make sure that you might enjoy it or not. Um, again, it works for all weapons. Instead of downloading individual weapon stuffs like you did in the past, and this is part of an overarching mod that is planning on bringing new Vegas into Fallout 4. Or with the engine of Fallout 4, anyway. Wow, insulting, aren't we, buddy? Even they can see you guns, you see? <laughs> oh well, but if you're the kind of person that can't take clipping, I would not recommend this for you. But if you love immersion, again, and if you love trying to strategize about what enemies to take out first... Uh, then th this is perfect for that. It's perfect for a playthrough where you kind of just try to have... Uh, where, you, where you try to see who to pick a fight with, pretty much. Uh, also, take a look at weapons on their buddies, and it looks kind of cool. Like, I, I cannot play without this mod after trying it out. It just feels weird holstering your weapon and doesn't show up. Uh, but like I said, um, the link to the actual mod is in the description below. Um, let me know if you guys want to see any other mods from me that I I'm going to cover here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Consider liking, subscribing, and uh, and of course leaving a comment with saying if we're useful or not, if you're interested or whatever. Uh, and I'll be making a lot more of these. This is kind of out of the blue I'm putting on my channel, but uh, don't worry, I'll still upload normal Let's Plays on the side. Uh, but I'm only going to say this once in this whole like Spotlight series, because I'm not used to putting out these videos. You can probably tell by the fact that I haven't ended it yet. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next Spotlight video or in one of my list plays. And as always, stay awesome.